I'm Jim Mohawko. I'm a rancher here southwest of Winslow at a place called Shevlin Butte. We've been ranching it for over 100 years. My grandfather came to um, Arizona in 1897 as a sheep herder and then purchased this ranch in, I think it was 1917. Today, I'm the third generation rancher. The well, mission of Arizona Game and Fish is basically to conserve and enhance wildlife habitats and populations and to work in partnership with, with all the land management agencies and private landowners. The department's been working with Jim Oaxaco for quite some time. He's been a great advocate for wildlife and a great advocate for working together to combine agricultural needs with wildlife needs. The key to ranching is uh, maintenance and preservation of the land. You know, as you well know, uh, water in Arizona is the most important asset you can have. And we have several wells on the ranch, but um, they weren't located where we needed them. So that's what uh, got us thinking, let's try to put water wherever we can. In 1998, we approached Arizona Game of Fish about a water project. One thing led to another, and we ended up with a 100,000 gallon water tank. When I don't have cattle in a certain pasture, we leave the water on for the wildlife. So the wildlife have 100% use of the water year round. Through a Dr. Ranch program, we do all kinds of different projects on different ranches around the state. On Jim's ranch here, um, he's got real good elk habitat. Um, Troy Christensen works with the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. And they'll come up and help me on a fence, a fence like this. Uh, that maybe elk have uh, hammered on. In one day, we can do uh, 10, 15 miles of fence. Jim's very good to work with. He has, he believes in multiple use of the land and really likes the wildlife. One of the projects uh, that we partnered with the Game and Fish is brush management project. So we're grinding these juniper trees that uh, sap a lot of water. And what this does is it increases the habitat for both cattle and wildlife. So all this area you can see behind me, that's kind of golden area. That, that all used to be covered with junipers, and now it's nice grassland. We've done economic benefit studies for, for hunters and wildlife watchers on these properties, and just one ranch is bringing back an economic return of around $100,000 a year to the local community. And that's where the, the public really benefits from this program. Oh, it means everything. It's our life. Uh, you know, it's just like this ranch is to me and to my brothers and sisters, it's like a family member. It's just part of us. It's in your blood. The funding the department receives through the lottery, which we call the Heritage Fund in our department, is an essential portion of, of our funding for the department and specifically for the Landowner Relations Program. We utilize this funding across the entire state. There, there isn't a corner of the state that we haven't worked with somebody with. We want to work with everybody. Without these lottery dollars, we, we couldn't do the work we're doing and we couldn't, couldn't make the efforts that we are right now. One thing you got to learn when you're a rancher, leave it better for the next generation. And I think through these projects that we've done, it is better. With all these partners, it's a win-win situation. We're improving the habitat for everything for future generations. Mm -hmm.